Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This video was brought to you by Mega and the Domain. Back when I visited Mega in Montreal, I interviewed a lot of really great folk, but in this video, I'm actually the one being interviewed by Isabella, the social media coordinator. And it's all in the name there. Mega now has a social media coordinator, which means we're gonna see so much great content on their social medias alongside mine over the next six months, and there is so much good stuff to share. But first, Let's crack on with this interview. G'day YouTube and okay. welcome to the <laughs> and welcome to the domain. I'm giving it especially Australian twist today. I'm Simon from the domain, otherwise known as the domizzle in the hizzle. The domizzle in the Canada hizzle. Yeah, what are we doing here today? <laughs> Well, today I am the one asking the questions. So I've prepared a few for you. What surprised you the most about your visit at Mega? Good question. Um, definitely the transparency. I have I have seen some things, some secrets that can never be told. I honestly I can't believe it. Like I I've I've sat in what I what are probably like ten hours of meetings mm. now and I've been briefed on everything, and they're so transparent. It, it's been wonderful. The, the reception has been incredible. Walking into a building and everybody's sort of watched your videos, but you don't know anybody. Yeah, everyone's just been so nice. And so obviously before coming here, you must have had some preconceived ideas of what it was gonna be like, and so what, what did you actually expect? You spend uh, about 14 years of your life invested in this brand mm. and this product, and you always just wonder what things are gonna be like. You uh, hold a figure in your hand and you think, well, I think that's probably how they molded it, and maybe this went through a few tests, and then, you arrive and you're just told everything. It's marvelous, honestly. I, I, I just feel super humbled, super grateful for it. It's been managing the, the sort of energy I bring to the situation because I'm here as a, a fan, but I'm also here to work. Like, it's a very interesting dynamic. It's exceeded expectations, though. This office is great. The staff are just so nice. You moved office last year, I believe. Well, you're also fairly new to the company. Mega moved office last year. I didn't know what to expect, honestly, because there's never been that much of a behind-the-scenes look at this, this office and this studio, so... That's why I'm so excited about this project. Like, it's really breaking new ground. What are you excited about? Quite a few many things. Uh, I fly to STCC at 6 a.m. tomorrow, which is absurd. Like, it's it's just the, it's the top of the mountain. As a fan of all these products for so many years, I've always wanted to come to Mega and I've always wanted to go to STCC. So for all that to happen within a week, it's so exciting and so nerve wracking and, and, and about everything else. But no, I'm super excited to see the Mega Booth at STCC. I've seen the concept art. I've seen the big build. It looks amazing. Can you summarize your whole trip into one word? <laughs> Nonstop. Non-stop roller coaster. I mean, I haven't breathed for like uh, a good four or five days. I've never recorded so many videos in one sitting or in one space of time. I've uh, never been, you know, in so many, so many like business meetings. I mean, I mean, I'm a primary school teacher by trade. I'm making a, a very I think it's a pretty cool, smooth transition into the world of corporate and, and media. And I, yeah, I just, I, I'm so blessed with this opportunity, honestly. It's it's all been a, a roller coaster ride, truly. And so you've gotten to know a few of like the different jobs mm -hmm. that people have at Mega. And I'm, I bet you anything you like, there are a lot of things you never ever thought about. But if you were to have one person's job here, Whose job would you like to have? Being briefed on some of the new products today, seeing uh, the excitement mm. from, from the designers. If I had the, ca I mean, I, I tried my hand at sculpting a head uh, for an action figure and it's very difficult. If I had the skill set, uh, action figure designer, hands down, yeah, figure designer. That's what I'll say, I'll take that, I'll take it. <laughs> Mega seems to be so, uh, they have such good relationships with their, um, with their, with the IPs that they help uh, produce products for. The number of iterations that a lot of these products go through has surprised me. When you got here, I'm sure you discovered there were many different things about Mega that you mm. actually just didn't expect, and I'm talking particularly about, you know, what goes on behind the scenes. When you open your, your Mega box with your product in it, yeah. whether it be the packaging, or whether it be the um, the playbook. I think you've seen the entire process from A to Z mm. now. Which part of it had never thought about before? Well, you know, I might actually just uh, 
borrow off what you just said. Uh, yeah. The playbook is a surprising one to me. I was in a meeting on Friday and they were talking through just how much thought goes into every page, mm. uh, into how every piece is shown to slot into the next, how visually you have to translate uh, the, you know, the core philosophy and aspects of the set into that manual, which to me, I, I wouldn't think twice about, um, but I think it goes a long way for people. So yeah, to see how many people are just involved in that and how many iterations that goes through. You know, sometimes they'll design a packaging and then they'll decide that that doesn't work with the integration into the rest of like the mega showcase, for example, and they'll they'll just throw it out and start again. Like mm. there's a lot of uh, aspects of this job that, that you think, or you just don't put any thought into, you just think it happens. Mm. Yeah. Agreed. All right, you ready for a couple of quick fire questions? I am, yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, so your first one is? Favorite Pokemon? Mudkip, Mudkip, yeah. If you could have one item made for you by Mega, what would it be? A custom Spartan with my face 3D printed. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's been in the that's been in <laughs> one day one day. What's your all-time favorite Halo piece? At the forward unto Dom. Dogs or cats? I used to be cats, now dogs. Oh, yeah. Why the change? My brother's got a lovely terrier. Ah, uh, I see. Um, shout out, shout out to Betty. <laughs> <laughs> and last one, beach or mountains? Mountains. No, beach. No, no, ocean. No, it's just one. Oh. Mountains by the beach? <laughs> okay. You can do them both in one day. <laughs> Been to Hong Kong. And I think that's it. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you for for once hosting something. I, I'm I'm happy to you know not have to uh, have to think about what I'm doing other than answering questions. And now in domain fashion, we say thank you very much for tuning in today. So you do that one first. Thank you very much for tuning in today. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. You stay awesome, and you stay safe out there, folks. And the domain is signing off. And the domain is signing off. See you next time. <laughs> Thanks to Mega for sponsoring this video. Stick it with the domain for more sneak peeks and behind the scenes. We're just getting started.